that was crucial for me was was flying down to Launceston and going to the Tangmar Valley uh, and meeting people there. I'd never seen such a inconsistency between a people and a government. Uh, and I think we realised that, that it was crucial that Tasmania have a, a government that reflects the values of Tasmanians. Politics in Tasmania makes New South Wales look as pure as the driven snow, and boy is that saying something. I've heard so many stories about the corruption of your police force, the corruption of public servants, the intimidation of honest public servants who fear for their jobs and their promotion. But they're the sort of networks of fear and intimidation that our current two-party political system not only relies upon, but encourages, because it keeps all of you in order. It seems to a great many Tasmanians that uh, Gunn's timber company is actually controlling the government. And that's just wrong, because the, the government should be controlled by the electorate. So even if criminal conduct has fundamentally contaminated the assessment process or the approval decision, that criminal conduct will not delay the operation of the mill. And I've put this clause up on, on the screen at international conferences of you know, top flying legal academics from around the world. And I've said, look, has anybody ever seen a clause like that? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still waiting to hear that from anybody anywhere in the world. Do not be afraid of minority government. It is time that Tasmanian politics had a radical change. Yeah. Yeah.